What's going on guys? Um, today I wanted to talk about a major issue that I am facing currently. So as you guys know, I, I recently implemented this um, RDI storage system. Uh, it is the same brand containers as my old one right here, just a little bit bigger. And they are, I, I purchased them brand new. This scuffing and, and a lot of this uh, is from the transport from the place to here. Uh, this thing is huge and it was rolling around on a U-Haul and it got really dented up and then I had to roll it up my driveway. So it got really scratched up. Um, that's, that's what that is. But the inside was brand new when I got it. And um, same with this one. This one's a little bit less screwed up, but still pretty screwed up. Um, but the problem I'm having currently is I don't really know what's happening. All I know is that when I do my monthly ICPs and test my RODI water, um, last test, I simply went here and opened this valve and sent that sample off because all of this is the same RODI water from that tub. And my sample read um, about 150 on zinc, okay? So I, I obviously was shocked when I saw this, number one, because I've been using that RODI water for a month and I, my zinc in my tank was low. Um, it, it's always a little bit low and I dose it every single day, but it was, it was low, um, although the RODI water was so high. So I was a little bit uh, worried and um, I kind of decided, okay, let's troubleshoot. Um, and around the same time as this, I realized that my water uses chloramines and I have no chloramine filter. So around the same time as all this was happening, I was like, okay, I need to add a chloramine filter and I need to add a booster pump to make this more efficient. So I already have them and they're in the other room right now. Um, I just haven't installed them yet because I'm waiting until April 4th when my city stops treating the water with chlorine um, and they go back to the regular chloramine. That's what they said on an announcement. And then April 4th, what I think my plan is, is to fill this tank up fully. So all the way up to the 700 gallon mark and then run that, let that sit for a week and then run that water through the RODI unit by taking off this uh, valve right here or the end of the valve, replacing it with this, which is the thread, same one, but threaded, and then attaching a uh, connector that allows me to put an RO, a 3 8 RODI tube, and then plumb that directly into the booster pump, have the booster pump push water into this um, RODI system with the chloramine filter that will be added. So basically letting that zinc leach out of this tank and get into the um, unit and then refilter. Obviously I'm gonna lose quite a bit of water, but I just, I, I need to figure out how to let the zinc leach out, if there is zinc. And I'm saying that if, because I don't understand really how there would be zinc in this tank. Uh, so while we, before we get into that, let me tell you guys like what I did to prep this before I filled it up with water. Essentially when I, when I received this um, container, in my mind, that's always in the back of my head, like all these things have oils in the manufacturing process and I don't wanna have to deal with that. So I got a hose and I hosed down both of these with tap water and I let them air dry for around three weeks. So they sat here for about a month and they were fully, fully dry, not a speck of tap water. And then I plumbed them all together and then I filled it up and a little, like half a month later, I sent the ICP and now I see the zinc. So it's been a few weeks since that reading of zinc and my tank is fine as of right now. And I have these here just in case for um, when I get this new unit plumbed, if, there, if, the, if the zinc is not out of this water, which I'll be sending another ICP on Monday, then I'm going to be, I'm gonna be troubleshooting. And that's why I'm making this video. Please uh, help me understand what's happening. Um, to my understanding right now, it's that potentially the water that I was using, the tap water, uh, leach, left, left behind zinc on the inside of the container walls. Um, but to be honest with you guys, I really don't understand how it would only leave zinc um, and not copper and other things that it could have been in the tap water, right? Um, we have pretty dirty tap water. It's like 300 TDS coming in, 250, 300. So it was weird that I was only seeing zinc. Um, and that was a little bit of a shocking thing. So now I'm just wondering what's going on. And like I said, it's the same brand as this. I have, I've seen no metal on any of the bulkheads. I, I, I looked as hard as I could. Um, and in the website and the manufacturer says there's no metal, they're both food grade. But obviously um, what I'm starting to think is, because, uh, sorry, let me, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. 
these containers, when I send ICPs on, uh, on this water from these two, they're always completely clear, nothing, not a single contaminant. And this is the same brand, like I said. So I know that it's not the material itself that's the issue. And when I first got this, I did the same thing. I cleaned it with tap water. Obviously, this is a little bit smaller, so it's more easy to maintain uh, and, and work around. This is a lot bigger. It's harder to manage. But I just don't understand why it's specifically zinc that's being leached. Um, so I was thinking that it could have possibly been this PVC because when I tested the water, um, it was probably sitting in this PVC for a while because this water right here kind of gets stagnant. Like if I open this valve, there will be a little bit of water even though the pump's out because when the pump pushes the water up in here and then it, it, the water that drains down, it either drains down here or here and then it will stay, right? Until I open the valve. So what I'm thinking is I had like stagnant water that was absorbing uh, stuff from the pipe possibly um, that could have got me the zinc. That's my, that's my single theory because I did get it from this pipe and not from the container itself because the zinc was so high and I haven't, I feel like if my zinc was that high, my tank should have crashed. Um, Cause my, like I said, my tank, the zinc in my tank was still low at the time. Um, and when I send my ICP on Monday, I don't know what it's gonna come back as. I'm really hoping, I mean, my corals look amazing and um, which is why I've been really slow to, to, to figure this out. I've been really taking my time to try to understand. But regardless, I did add the chlor, I'm gonna add the chloramine and the booster pump just to better, um, better have a, have a better understanding of RODI now to where I know that chloramines are getting through my unit and I wanna, I wanna not have that as an issue. So I'm adding that regardless, but I just want some advice from some experts in the field um, to tell me what is happening and why is it happening. Um, if, is, if, do you think it's possible that it came from this PVC pipe or potentially the union valve? Um, or do you think that it's coming from this container? Um, I've been using this water now for another month and my tank hasn't crashed just because I'm, I'm in my head, I really think it's this PVC. And when I, the water moves from here to here, there's not much contact time with this PVC. Um, and I did rinse the PVC when I first got it. So it's not that much sediment, but obviously I can't, can't rinse it fully. So right now I'm just at a point where I'm a little bit like, okay, I know what I need to do, but like, is this really what's happening? Um, so if you guys could have, give me any insight, what I'm going to basically be doing is testing the or first, I'm going to try to test this uh, water directly from here. My next ICP, I'm going to just take it direct from here. And I'm almost certain that this is going to show zero just because like I said, in these, with the same exact unit, same exact filters, everything, it was always zero. And now suddenly it's the zinc was outrageous, right? So I don't think uh, it's coming from the unit, but I'm just gonna test it just to be sure. And then after that ICP, whatever the results are, I'm uh, the next one I'm gonna test directly from this barrel because this barrel comes directly from here. It just gets shot up and then goes in here and it's only for a short amount of time. I don't like leave any of the uh, valves open. They're always closed. So they're, so yeah, basically what I'm saying is if you guys have any idea or can give me any insight on what you guys think is possibly happening, um, and if you have a better idea than just recycling the RODI water, basically if it is this container, I wanna make sure that everything like that was on the edges from the tap water just gets into that RODI water. Cause the first time I filled it up, I filled it up to about here, 350 gallons about a month ago. And um, so what I'm gonna be doing the next time with the chloramine buster, is or the chloramine monster it's filling up all the way let it soak for a week maybe two weeks and then recycle it like i said through the booster pump down here all the way back and just recycle that ro water one one last time to refilter all the zinc out if it is coming from here but um yeah so if you guys have any uh insight please let me know um a little little like a problem i, I always have weird problems like this but uh i'd rather have some problems and no problems because i don't want to i don't want to be shocked whenever something does happen because in my experience something bad always does happen but yeah anyway uh thank you guys for watching if you made it this far um just please leave a comment tell me what you think's happening and yeah thank you guys